today we're hanging out at Land Between the Lakes. This is a 170,000 acre national recreation area. It has over 300 miles of shoreline. The recreation area is located, as its name implies, between two lakes, Lake Brantley and Kentucky Lake. bipedal wolf-like creature with claws, huge jaws, and red beady eyes. <laughs> Alright, in order to find the creature, we got pork rinds and moon cheese. Historically two of the creature's favorite snacks. So is there really a monster running around in the woods out here? I've never seen it. Never seen it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I might ask him if he has anybody that comes in and says they've seen it, but I haven't so far. All right, so just found out some interesting information about the monster. Um, if you have not subscribed to our channel as of yet, he likes to attack people who are not subscribed, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell notification to get a notification of every time we release a new episode. Help us protect you. Subscribe now. Uh, oh my god, that was so loud. The conspiracy of the monster is actually deeper than I thought. Um, we're actually in the bison and elk area, when obviously it's one of the monster's favorite hunting grounds. Wait, that doesn't make any sense at all. Because it's a monster containment area, they don't want it to make sense. So we're driving around the bison and elk prairie here at Land Between the Lakes. This is like a 700 acre prairie and it only costs $5 to get in. If you're lucky, you can see a bunch of elk and a bunch of bison. It's a really cool place. There's some up there in the trees. You see them? There's a bunch of elk. There's like a ton of them. How about that monster that runs around? Mm. Seen that? I haven't seen him today. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. All right, <laughs> thank you. So good news on the monster hunting front. We have actually received confirmation from park personnel that there is a monster, thanks to our hidden camera footage. How about that monster that runs around? I haven't seen him today. Um, we've seen a bunch of elk. Uh, zero bison so far, and zero seven foot tall or taller wolf-like bipedal creatures with massive claws, red beady eyes, and powerful jaws. All right, so we're actually eating the moon cheese now. I almost spilled it all over myself. Still no monster. Um, you can tell by the time lapse that we've been here for a long time looking for the monster, obviously. Like hours. So in order to get more information, we're actually going to go to a 18, what is it, 1800s? 1850s. 1850s style farm. Yeah, so it is a living museum. So that means we should see lots of animals and they actually grow um, lots of vegetables and all kinds of stuff there. So we're hoping that they will have some more information on this. It actually might not be a living if farm if the uh, if the monsters reached them first. If the monsters first. There got there before us. Yeah. It's possible. Have any of you seen the monster that's supposed to run around these parts? No. No? Everything I've heard from everybody is that there's no monster. <laughs> no monster? <laughs> no monster. So, uh... Well, yeah, I figured since we all have hogs here, you know, a monster might, you know... Everyone right. loves bacon, so... So all the 
livestock here on the farm are rare hermitage breeds. Um, this thing is massive. So his backside is taller than I am, and I'm almost six feet tall, just a hair under six feet. And uh, he's, this thing's got to weigh at least, what, a thousand pounds yeah. or more? Massive. It'd be really difficult for the monster to eat one of these. But the monster is at least seven feet tall. What do you, sir, what, how do you feel about the monster? Are you, are you concerned at all? I don't think he cares. So I have to ask. So all those stories about the monster running around were those? Were those? Did those exist back then? Uh, I'm not familiar with the history of it, but I've heard that that just started in the 50, 1950s. And stuff. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. After. Big story of the beast and the elk started in the 1940s. 1940s? Because it was supposed to be like an army experiment right after World War II. Mm, gotcha. Was this mutated guy to be an elk. There used to be a big rumor all over the place, I guess some people still believe it, that this land was done the way it was done for like secret government uh, oh, yeah. experimentation site or something like that. Hey guys, have you heard about the monster? About the, yes, yes ma'am, you. How, how, do you, how do you feel about the monster? Is it, are, are you scared? I think she's running away. So the people that um, work here on the farm are just so helpful. They're all dressed in period clothing and it's really cool and they just know everything about how people lived back in the 1800s. Uh, they grow some tobacco on this farm as well and one of the people here showed us um, these little tobacco pods. In each of these little tobacco pods there are tons of seeds. So let me see if I can get one of these open for you. So these seeds are super tiny and it's actually where the saying um, they're worth their weight in gold came from because with this small amount of tobacco you could grow or seeds you could grow enough tobacco to be worth the weight here in gold. So we had a really great day here at Land Between the Lakes, just kind of roaming around and checking out. It's a really cool national recreation area. There's tons to do. There are some cool campgrounds along the way, lots of water activities. Off-road areas. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course the, the prairie that we went through and the home place, um, the, the working farm that we visited, which was our absolute favorite thing we did the day. If you come here, do not miss coming by and checking that out. So we didn't find the monster. Um, that's not even close. No. I mean, we don't even know. Like some people say it exists. Some people say it doesn't. I mean, what's going on? Have you seen the Land Between the Lakes monster? If you have, you have to comment <laughs> you have below. You have to tell us. You here. absolutely have to comment <laughs> below. So if you've seen it or you know someone who has, I mean, share this and share the story. The interesting thing, all joking aside, is that usually these legends have a grain of truth to them or they were told for a reason so if you know why or uh, a theory on why put that below too right. but otherwise i think that's going to end it for today we're about to head back and get something to eat at home um, but until next time guys stay, stay wonderful, wonderful.